Well, you can't really bring up voiceover audio and audio production for voice without bringing up the idea of restoration plugins, right? That's the th- those are the RX plugins of things like D-Reverb, D-Click, D-Noise, uh, D-Breath, uh, the the plugins that are used to clean your audio, take out all of the artifacts and the things that you don't want to give it that sheen and that polish to make it almost sound better than real life. Well, uh, in this video, we're going to do something a little bit different from what I normally do. Um, Usually it's EQ and compression and things I talk about optimizing. But, you know, uh, the restoration plugins and that approach is is very real. And it's something that a lot of us need and do uh, to our voiceover audio recordings to get them up to speed, to hit the noise floor that we need to. So we're going to talk about that today. uh, And I'm going to focus specifically on um, D-Reverb, which is really used if you have a less than optimal room. My name is Lenny B. I'm a voiceover audio engineer. Let's make your voice sound better. The plugin I want to focus on today is called Clarity VX D Reverb. It's actually a new plugin uh, from Waves that I'm finding um, that's actually pretty good. And I, I know um, that there are lots of D Reverb type um, restoration plugins available. Uh, Isotope has a very, very extremely popular one that I've used for years. Uh, I know Cvox is a very popular among the voiceover community. Uh, that's a plugin by Universal Audio. And they, those they do a great job. And uh, I just want to put another one on your radar because uh, I'm finding this uh, pretty useful. So what I've got here, and I'm going to run through three different um, voiceover recordings. And some of these are, are using a, a shotgun mic for an on-camera shot. So there's a lot of room ambience and reverb just kind of in the mix. Um, some of these are um, just a, a USB microphone, maybe just not the best treated room. These are definitely less than optimal situations, but that's what I wanted to illustrate for you to show you how uh, well this Clarity VX D Reverb can work and why I would choose the Clarity VX D Reverb by Waves uh, as opposed to something else in a particular situation. So let me play for you this first file here. His name is Alex. Again, a less than optimal voiceover recording. And that could be just because um, the room that he's in on camera doesn't have the treatment, can't, can't, uh, visually get enough treatment because uh, uh, it needs to be on camera. There could be several different factors. But what I want to do here is illustrate how I would attack this to get the best sound possible out of the footage that we've got to deal with. So let's listen to the raw recording. The microphone that I'm using to record this is a Sennheiser MK4. So you can hear we've got uh, a lot of room echo. It sounds like there's a lot of hard reflective surfaces in the room and it's a fairly large room. So that's the biggest thing. And what happens is, you know, when the reverb, which are higher frequencies, start bouncing around and give you that echoey sound, there's also a lot of low frequencies that are bouncing around and they can give you um, uh, resonances in the room which amplify or null out certain frequency spaces. And uh, you can do a lot. You could fix, uh, you could actually balance it a lot with some EQ. So I'm going to show you uh, kind of what I've done here. First, we'll start with uh, uh, the F6, which you know is one of my favorites, and the Shep's Omni channel. I'm going to activate these two so you can see how I've improved. Uh, let's play it and then I'll activate them uh, halfway through when I play for you here. So this is just EQ and the Shep's Omni channel, which is, which is compression and some other things. And, and I want to show you how that is uh, improving the sound. And this is before we do any kind of de-reverbing. The microphone that I'm using to record this is a Sennheiser NK- MK4. The audio interface is a Scarlett Solo. Uh, the reason I love creating voice recordings is, well, I haven't created any yet. This is probably one of the first ones. Uh, so you can hear a big difference. I've balanced the frequencies because there's a lot of resonances in the room because things are bouncing around and echoing. So now that we've improved there, you can still hear that echo. It's very, uh, that reverb is very prevalent. So now what I want to do for you is engage the uh, the clarity, which is uh, this new release from Waves. Uh, and I'm digging it because I'll tell you what I like about it. It also does noise reduction. And we're going to, we'll start it at zero here and I'm going to slowly bring it in and you can see the difference as it reduces the reverb on this one recording. Here's what I think I like the most about it is the fact that 
I, I don't like using restoration plugins, de-clicking and de-reverb and de-noise. I don't like using them. The best case scenario to get really good audio is to treat your room, to improve the way you have your mic set up and to get your recording level right. You know, that's nothing is going to sound better than that. But if you're in a situation where you have to use them, I say use them. This is my approach. Use them sparingly because no matter how much de-reverb processing or restoration processing you add, it tends to lessen the overall quality and uh, phonics and um, resolution of your audio quality. But that's the one thing that I am really liking about the Clarity VX Reverb from Waves is even when I crank it up, I'm not hearing a lot of artifacts. I don't hear that degradation of the audio quality, and I'll show you what I mean. Let me keep on the F6 and the Sheps. So we're just going to, we're going to blend in for taste. I feel like I'm on a cooking show. I'm going to slowly uh, fold in some uh, D-Reverb by Clarity VX. The microphone that I'm using to record this is a Sennheiser NK- MK4. The audio interface is a Scarlett Solo. Uh, The reason I love creating voice recordings is, well, I haven't created any yet. This is probably one of the first ones. uh... In this audio, Alex is like rubbing his hands together. I can hear him doing this. Or he's like rubbing his hands on his clothes or something. So there's some extra noise in there. What's what's odd is that comes through okay, uh, but just the reverb um, gets pushed in the back. And I think it the Clarity VX does a really a good job of it. And I have tried it against some of the other D reverb plugins, and I I'm, I'm just digging the way this one sounds. The Clarity, oddly enough, uh, it's a good choice to use. The Clarity is. Um, is wonderful and I don't hear that degradation. Let me do it one more time for you. The microphone that I'm using to record this is a Sennheiser MK4. The audio interface is a Scarlett Solo. Uh, The reason I love creating voice recordings is, well, I haven't created any yet. This is probably one of the first ones, Uh, uh, but I hire voice actors to read comic books and make audio dramas and they seem to have a lot of fun. And that's kind of why I want to get involved and jump in and join them. It's really smooth. And, and I like that. So, you know, and here's what, here's what I think about. If you have to use a uh, restoration because you have no choice and it's just what you need to do because this is the, how I got the raw files. If you've got to use it, um, I say try to use it where it minimizes. You don't want to notice it, right? Let me go through here some of the other examples that I have uh, put together. Here is another submission. I'll play it raw first. Um, His name is Guy, or G, uh, uh, forgive me for not pronouncing it correctly. Today, we understand the underlying psychology behind marketing better and more deeply than ever before. All right, now I'm going to engage the F6 and the Sheps, which is just a custom processing setting to balance out the frequencies, add a little bit of uh, compression to level uh, the dynamics out, and that improves it one step further. Today, we understand the underlying psychology behind marketing. But you still hear that uh, reverb and that echo. And uh, that's where we bring in the Clarity VX D-Reverb by Waves. And uh, I'll slowly mix that in for you so you can hear what that sounds like. Today, we understand the underlying psychology behind marketing better and more deeply than ever before. There, there are some artifacts. You can hear it. It's not perfect. There's still a little bit of ambience in there, but it's definite improvement. And compared to what I'm used to when I mix in uh, some uh, restoration plugins like Denoise or D-Reverb, especially D-Reverb is really processor, uh, processor in- intensive. I think it has to do a lot of work to do this in real time that fast. And, and there's a lot of things going on. We better understand concepts such as mental availability, distinctive brand assets, and the importance of evolving both right-brain emotional-based reasoning and left-brain rationality in the creation of effective marketing. It's doing the work without causing another problem. <laughs> That's really what I like about it. So I'm, I'm just impressed. Um, and I'll tell you one more thing. I'll switch over here to my last uh, example. I like the utility Uh, and price ratio that Waves offers. And that's just one of the reasons why I suggest these all the time. All right, let's hear, uh, let's hear submission number three. It's from Jose. This is without the F6 and the Sheps before we do any uh, EQ or compression. Let's hear what that sounds like. Our goal is to help you make better decisions in creating your comprehensive financial plan. Again, these are less than optimal situations. He he definitely needs some room treatment. Uh, You can hear that, um, 
there is uh, resonances in the room in that low mid frequency, he definitely needs some work. And so what we've done is uh, you can put a, a nice big fat band-aid with EQ and compression and improve the sound. And here's what I've come up with, uh, with just the uh, F6 and the Shep's Omnichannel. Our goal is to help you make better decisions in creating your comprehensive financial plan. Listen to how much more uh, present that is. I'll take it off. So you will have the confidence that you will reach your financial goals. At Capital Wealth Management, our top goal is to help you put your wealth to its best use. You know, the EQ and compression with the F6 and the Shep's Omni channel, there's some DSing, there's some gating in there, but it presses the voice uh, just forward and, it, and it, it helps the clarity. And really, like we said at the beginning, the whole point here is to make a, a connection with your audience. You want them to hear the message that you're telling them and, and, and to really um, digest that message and absorb the message, hopefully uh, to have them react some certain way. I mean, that's really the, the bottom line here. So we want to try to clean it up as much as possible. And I will mix in the Clarity VX D Reverb plugin by Waves. And let's hear what that sounds like. Our goal is to help you make better decisions in creating your comprehensive financial plan. Let me draw your ear to something. Uh, there's like a spinning disc drive whining sound, plus the reverb uh, of his voice bouncing around that uh, room with some hard reflective surfaces. Those walls are not treated correctly. Um, but let me draw your ear to that while I turn up the Clarity VX D-Reverb by Waves. Our goal is to help you make better decisions in creating your comprehensive financial plan so you will have the confidence that you will reach your financial goals. At Capital Wealth Management, our top goal is to help you put your wealth to its best use with a thorough financial plan and investment strategies tailored to your objectives and goals. Really does a nice job. Um, is it perfect? No. Is it uh, an improvement? I feel like it is. And for me, really, the takeaway here and, and what the, what separates the Clarity VX D Reverb plugin for me is that I can turn it up even all the way, and it it doesn't seem to lower the resolution of the original audio quality. It gets rid of the reverb, but still kind of keeps the uh, integrity of the audio, the quality of the audio intact. And sometimes uh, you can you can crank up some of these plugins, uh, the restoration plugins, and it just it seems to degrade the audio. You can only push them so far, but I think that's what the magic of this one is doing. That's the one step forward that I think we're getting from Waves here. The audio from the people that you heard in this video were submissions, and, and this is what happens all the time. You know, people come to me if they want to improve the quality of their voice recording, and, and that's what I help with. That's what I do as an audio engineer for voiceover specifically. So if you're, you don't have to be doing voiceover uh, on platforms or competing against other voiceover artists for gigs. You could just be uh, making YouTube videos, whatever it is, uh, I want to help you improve the quality and, and sound of your voice recording. And really what it boils down to is allowing you to make a stronger emotional connection with your audience for whatever you're doing, right? If it sounds great, um, not only will it be heard better, will the message be received better, but if it sounds really good and you like the way that it sounds, you will perform better. It's a, it's a win-win. So uh, I invite you, if you are having any kind of struggles or you just want to say, uh, you want to see, hey, how can I get to that next level? Uh, one of the things that I do for free is if you send me a raw file of your voice, I will process it for you. And I'll send you back an example of what it could sound like with my EQ settings, my compression settings, uh, all of the restoration plugins necessary. So I could say, hey, this is what it would take to get to this sound. So you have an idea of what it can sound like. There's a uh, link in the description of this video. You could also go to my website, LennyB.com, and it has all the information on how I need your file. You can just fill out a form. I get some information about, uh, um, you know, your system, your microphone you're using, and your room treatment, if you have any or not. And, and we can put together an example of what your voice could sound like with processing. And I'll tell you this too, um, if I can't process it or if I can't improve it, I'll also, and I do this for anyone, uh, I'll make some suggestions. Hey, sounds to me like you may need to improve this or your recording level's a little off. If you do this, it's going to sound better. Um, as, as an effort just to help you improve, uh, I'll also give you some feedback on what I think you can do to improve. I'm Lenny B, voiceover audio engineer. Let's make your voice sound better.